524 is your time as COVID numbers have been rising over the past few months. A mother and daughter team on the north side now find themselves in high demand. Yeah, this morning I want to introduce you to two women who call themselves two busy bees because they're happy to run all your errands. Tell me what is two busy bees? It's a mother daughter duo concierge service. And because, you know, we manage people's needs, we were like, hey, we're busy as bees. So rather than being a personal assistant to one person, you're a personal assistant to many people. Yes, that's why we're two busy bees. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some of the services that two busy bees provides. We offer dry cleaning. We um, will run to the post office and do stamp purchases or drop offs, item returns, grocery shopping, personal shopping, home organization, contractor and vendor management. I mean, we enjoy it. It's what yeah. we're passionate about. So we yeah, we consider that fun because we are maybe a little OCD. We think, yay, we can help get somebody organized. This is exciting. It's fun. When somebody says they want a service, you say, okay, we'll do that service and here's the fee. Correct. Yes. I saw a picture. You guys are actually organizing like sock drawers and things like that. Yeah. yeah, so really we take on any size project. So we work on projects as small as like a pantry organization for spices, um, all the way to, you know, garage or a full blown home, uh, you know, organization where it's multiple rooms underneath the sink. I mean, you name it, we'll do it. Large or small, we've done them all. How has COVID affected your business? Are more people wanting you to run errands for them now? Most certainly. Folks, you know, maybe don't want to go out as often. So, you know, they'll rely on us to, you know, go do the grocery shopping, you know, pick up the dry cleaning. We comply with CDC guidelines. Um, so, you know, we'll wear a mask or we'll wear gloves. Your house is extremely well organized. Yeah, probably too organized, but that's just how we are. Yeah, you know, it's stressful when you don't know what you're looking for. So if you are organized and it makes your life easier. So would I be too bold to say that you're obsessed with compulsive disorder is making money now? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> So Monique and Teresa are currently serving the Zionsville area, but Julia, good luck, good news for you. Busy Bees is hoping to expand their service to Carmel, <laughs> yes. to Westfield, Fishers, and Noblesville. You said that you wouldn't mind. Hiring. I just said, I was like, well, do I need them. Do they charge <laughs> hourly? What are their fees? Yeah. I need them we've so a, desperately. We've got a link to their website at WTHR.com. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a cool idea. They, mm -hmm. They're from California. They moved to Zionsville about six months ago, and they said, let's do this. Let's, let's yeah. get a, run errands for people. Be personal assistants. I so love it. All right. They might have a phone call coming up here <laughs> from me.